Hi hey, divers, Alec Pierce Scuba, another tech tip from Scuba 2000 Dive Store in Toronto. Get a chance to drop into uh, certainly one of the prettiest dive stores uh, I've ever seen. I built it. <laughs> but it sure is gorgeous now, let me tell you. Anyway, uh, I want to deal with this uh, question, another question from one of my viewers. Thank you very much for doing that. Uh, and he was asking about the automatic devices that, that close the first stage when you take it off the tank. Now, you know, you, you experienced divers anyway. That you're diving, right? You come up after the dive, you take your tank off, you set it down, you want to put your regular onto a new tank. So what's the process? Well, it's very simple. You've already turned off the old tank valve and you've purged the air out, right? So now you take the valve, sorry, you take the regulator first stage off the tank valve, right? And then you're about to put it onto the new tank when somebody interrupts you and you're standing there on a dive boat that's on its way to the next dive site. So there's probably water spraying and there's water dripping off your hair. <laughs> See, you can tell that I'm a smart diver. I don't have any hair to drip water into my regular anyway. No. So it can happen though. I've seen it happen. Or dripping off your wetsuit or your buddy said, oh, I don't, Joe, and flip salt water all over and put as you know, salt water inside your regular. I'm going to tell you something. I have serviced at last count, it was just under 1 million, 900, whatever, a lot of regulators over the years. 60 years I've been diving, and over 50 years in the business, I service a lot of regs, and nothing is harder on regulators than salt water. Not so bad on the outside, although it must be rinsed and cleaned, but I get a single drop of water, salt water, on the inside of the reg, it can destroy it. The filter will almost instantly start to corrode. The parts on the inside are not chrome. No, they're brass, which is pretty good, but it gets a green corrosion on it, too. And all, lots of other parts are in there as well, brass and steel and so on. You get salt water. One drop of salt water can destroy your beautiful regulator. So the point is that you want to make sure that no water goes into there. Now, if you look at my, some of my previous tech tips, I've talked about the best procedure. And the best procedure is, let's go back, undo the yoke screw on the regulator. Then before you move the regulator, Lick your finger, your thumb, dry it so it's clean, and then as you take the reg up, put you put your thumb right in there, right in, over top of that hole. Now, who cares? Hold it tightly. If your buddy throws water or the boat hits a big wave, you don't care. Then you take it carefully to the next tank, and if everything's good, you take your thumb out and put it on the next tank. No salt water ever goes in. That will work, and that's in one of my previous tech tips. However, just recently, I've uh, I have I've seen some divers. I've had some divers ask me about what they call the new automatic closure device. There's a couple of companies that have them, but there's one in particular, a very, very well-known company, Aqualung. I'll mention their name, uh, and they have a new version of the automatic closure device. First of all, let's talk about that. What's an automatic closure device? Well, what it is is a dry, clean thumb. Yeah, that's what it is. Automatic closure device. When you put your thumb in there to hold that to keep the water out, that's what that is. It's not completely automatic. You still have to do it. But they have come up with a mechanical clean, dry thumb. <laughs> when you turn the tank valve off and purge the regulator, there's no air pressure now going into the regulator. And as soon as that air pressure stops, as soon as that, there's no air pressure pushing on the first stage, there's a spring-loaded seal that pops up and seals it. Just like putting your thumb in. Automatic closure device. You turn the air off, purge it so the pressure's gone, and a little spring loaded seal pops up and seals that hole so no salt water can go in. Sounds like a great idea, doesn't it? And it is. The idea is great. We'll see. We'll see. First of all, let me explain my skepticism. This is not new. <laughs> no. Other companies in the past have done this. Now, this is the first time Aqualung has done it. And their automatic closure device, to me, I've seen them work, and I know how they work. They seem to be particularly robust. It seems to be well-designed. It does add uh, at least three, if not four, parts to the first stage. And we don't need to make, make our regulators more complicated. You know? uh, but it seems to be particularly good. We'll find out in time if it works. Previous designs, previous styles. Oceanic, a few years ago, for instance, had one. Uh, they called theirs the dry valve technology. And it's very, very similar. A spring-loaded bulb would pop up and seal that hole when the pressure was removed. And it worked really, really well. But again, because there were several new parts involved, eventually it became obvious that it was 
a fairly high maintenance item. So they decided after a few years to stop putting that technology in. We'll see how it works with this. So, good idea, great idea. Does it work really, really well? It seems to. Is it worth paying extra money for? Well, I don't know. If you don't have a dry, clean thumb handy, maybe it's worthwhile. If you're not particularly fastidious about your equipment, you don't really take really good care of it, probably a good idea. Do you have to have it? No, you don't have to have it. If you take care of your regulator properly, as I described, then you don't have to have it. But it seemed like a good idea. Anyway, there's my thoughts on these automatic closure devices. You read about them online yourself, and when you're looking at a new regulator, uh, and you think about it, then remember the few things I, I told you. Take good care of your reg, you don't need it. It's a good idea. Okay, guys, automatic closure device. Eh, not a bad idea. Alec Pierce, Tech Tips from Scuba 2000. Talk to you soon.